Hello there guys, my name is JLGP Dwarf and welcome to Ain Oh an Ain. Oh my god. Hello there guys, my name is Gimpy Dwarf and welcome to another episode of Space Engineer Spotlight with me, Gimpy Dwarf. Now, I'm going to be talking about something uh, that's fairly new to the game. And um, I've built a few concepts as you saw in the flyovers at the start. And I just want to really show you them and talk through them and talk about how you can probably make better ships in Space Engineers now. But for one thing, I'm in the ship ship's ideas world that I have and basically I'll show you something cool. You can now set the wings, this is just using the grouping feature, I haven't been on this world in a while, and just set them to reverse and then when I hit Y, look at that, isn't it beautiful? So that's basically new and again the reverse feature as well which enables you to just reverse them and you know do your bits and bobs and put your wings in and out, it just makes it so much easier now. I actually talked about it on the video I did for these about how it would be cool to group stuff and it works the same on this one and on this one but the wings are a bit funny so I kinda just don't want to show that one so basically we've got a few ship designs that I've been building this one is like a skinny fighter module that basically uses the ship attach uh, merge block the small ship one of course to attach to like a booster ring like you would see on Star Wars I may insert a clip just talking, uh, just showing what I actually mean um, but this was the first idea that came to my head when it came to the merge blocks, basically it's a ring with a few more thrusters on which basically allows you to go quicker in straight line and then when you're done it, it'll stop you as well you can then go K and then go to fighter dock merge block turn it off which will bring me into this mode which is a bit weird and I can oh if I actually duck down a little bit I can actually fly out of that and I'm out of it and then all that it leaves me to do is back up into it with this on so if I back up into it without bashing anything or doinking anything and voila! So, that actually worked pretty well, in all fairness. Um, so basically that's, that was the first concept I came up with, and I basically gave them the old colours for this world, which is orange and white, which I kind of like. Um, but look how quickly it stops and accelerates. Of course, there's a slight issue with thruster, um, power management and things. Um, it won't be really viable to be building this in your survival worlds, but it's an idea, and if I can, if my building skills will allow me, I will try and build um, something really cool in the future with these because this feature is just so cool. It adds a lot, a lot of features that just make the game so much better. It is literally a whole new game. So, we move on to the more heavy duty version. It's not heavy armor, it's just a bit fatter. And so is the ship design. Now, with the ship design, I've gone with a, um, making the merge block a little bit closer to the ship. Um, one block radius all the way around pretty much and just adding four of these pods on and making the ring a bit smaller to make to condense the shape down a little bit as well I actually started off with some building the ring whereas that one I started off building the ship and then the ring so the, the ideas will come you know I'll get there but this has got a lot of forward thrust it moves pretty quickly I'll give it that it moves pretty damn quickly but then we hit the brakes and it just slams on. This one's a little bit harder to dock and uh, reattach because you have to be in perfect sort of alignment pretty much. But basically you pull forward, you want to pull out your ship, you pull out. And if I go like this, there we go, so we're out of the ship now. Um, and then if I want back in, I just, oh, not go V. I, oh my god, the views are so weird. Um, go attach and back up into it. Now, you can actually back up pretty quickly into these. Um, 
But as you can see, as I'm backing in, I'm backing in, I'm backing in, and boop! So that was pretty nice, and it moves still. It moves pretty damn nicely as well, with the actual additional weight. Now, I actually want to test something on camera. So this is stating my ship is at 61,201. If I turn this off, does that update? Yeah, it does. So, weights update now as well, with this, and as you can see the lines have now gone in my world, it was just a quick fix they did, the base key allows, I just fixed it all and, and allowed me to play like I normally do now, but that was the second I, that was like the second idea, and then I kind of thought, I've had enough with these rings for now, I'm going to move on to something a little bit, a little bit different, um, I, I did talk about in my merge box video um, for the update yesterday, um, about the idea of having attachable and detachable rockets um, so you can basically have these warheads that just you know you can launch off by just turning that connection off and it flies forwards um, we will put it to the test um, um, this rocket probably won't even dent it but you know uh, might as well give it a try this is a bit awkward because you have to like launch yourself away get yourself up to a speed get ready to basically back thrust off sort of thing and then you know it's one of those awkward ones because basically I've got to come in here and then turn off rocket release and then that will release the rocket into that and of course I've got to get up to a nice speed first so let's keep backing away a little bit here now I'd, if you notice I did put a thruster on the bottom because that actually helps with stability on the ship and because the, sh the power is shared through the ship once I detach that, that rocket will no longer take any power because it's detached and it's a separate ship of its own. So I kind of added that on just to add a bit more. Because basically what happens is you add a rocket onto the bottom and it drags the ship down. So I kind of put that on just to counteract that, which works really nicely actually. And again, it's actually pushing. There is actually a force moving it forwards, which is uh, a lot better for stability when you're firing these rockets. So, that's Flora get up to like 40 meters a second rocket release release turn off so as you can see the rocket is going it's going it's going and it's hit look at that now I'm not expecting it to have done the world's amount of damage but look at that oh move okay so look at that, so that has actually fired a rocket really smoothly actually, there was no issues with flight, it was perfectly straight, there was no issues with stability. Now the best thing about this ship is, uh, say you've taken some sort of damage, and uh, let's actually go outside and take some damage. <laughs> so, say you're there, you know, you've been fired at a little and your engine a few of your engines on the back have died so you've got this this is pretty much useless right so you've only got two engines out of the out of the five that were work that are working and you've took a lot of damage on the back end of your ship from rocket fire yada 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 how can you ditch that weight and get out of there quicker now it has been proven by my test with the ring that it actually lightens the load as such when you're flying. So what I'm looking at doing is I'll fly forwards, release the rear thruster that is actually attached by a merge block and then I can basically fly off a bit quicker. So if I start flying forwards release K okay. and then rear thruster off I can then just release that pop it off and fly away like so and that's just kinda left drifting in orbit you can actually probably use them as their own sort of missile um, but that's that's a thing and also with this ship you can just turn it into a dead weight turn it into like a bit of a recovery vessel that's flying on its own actually <laughs> That's stuck in a permanent. It is as well. Oh well. 
That's pretty cool. It's actually stuck on thrust. That's weird. So, if I were to be flying quite slowly and I release those two and my ship just becomes a dead weight <laughs> and I just continue moving <laughs> so that's the thing, so you can basically just turn your ship into like a bit of a just a you know, a dead weight can't fly just got no engines anymore but it adds a bit more to it so it can just become like a, a rocket of its own so you can jump out of this then let it fly at the target and just kill things which is really cool so if you guys have liked this video then please like favorite and subscribe for more ideas and designs if you have anything you want to say about some of the designs I have created then don't be afraid to put it in the comments below and I will see you guys later for another episode of Space Engineers Peace.